Welcome to 365 Christian Men, where every day we aim to inspire and encourage with real life stories about men. November 15th, Jared Emerson. Jared Emerson is a star performer and artist, and he presents regularly at business and corporate gatherings and for faith based groups. He says, My journey across my canvas is one of faith and love, and above all, an expression of my love of God. Whether it's a live performance or a personal intimate setting, my goal is to paint what my heart sees and to share it. On this date in 2014, Jared uploaded to YouTube a live speed painting of Jesus. Today's story is about how Jared got started sharing his painting as it was being created. Pushing through our fears can release the power of God. Jared Emerson throws paint, and by throwing paint on canvas, he captures the essence of the subject he's painting. During a time when his art career prospects were looking dim, his pastor asked him to do a painting in front of an audience. That was a jarring request. Performing in front of people seemed out of the question for Jared and risky. He rebelled at the idea and thought, that's ridiculous. He had never considered turning his art into a performance. He worried he would make a fool of himself and wanted to give his pastor a resounding, no thank you. But it was hard for Jared to say no to his pastor, so he said he would do it. Then a week before the scheduled performance, Jared retore a major ligament in a knee he had injured five years before. It opened a convenient door for Jared to back out of the performance. He could now tell his pastor he could not paint in front of the whole church. After all, if he did, he would have to hobble onto the stage with crutches and then balance and hop on one leg while throwing paint on a canvas. Still, Jared decided he would not back out because he was not a backer-outer. And who knew, this could be the opportunity he needed to take his craft to a whole new level. Besides, he believed God wanted him to do it. So he just needed to get out there and make it happen. Unfortunately, the stage crew stretched and fixed a large piece of black cloth on a frame for Jared to paint on during his performance, and it wasn't primed like a real canvas. So the paint was doomed to soak through, degrading the effects, an artist's nightmare. What else could go wrong? When Jared made his appearance, his old fears crept in. He had around nine minutes to come up with a painting of Jesus that wouldn't mock his credibility as a speed painter. All eyes would be on him while he fumbled and stumbled around the stage on one leg. Negative thoughts rushed through his mind like rapids over a craggy boulder, and he felt as if he were about to crash into it. I'm hopping out here on crutches. I'm going to fall and hurt myself. I'll have to leave before I'm finished. It's going to be embarrassing, he thought to himself. In that moment, Jared stopped and prayed, and God showed up. On stage, Jared threw his paint on the black background as usual. Using his fingers as brushes, he began to fill in the form and colors all the while praying. God, please show up for me and make it all work out. I feel lost right now. Please help me, he prayed. When Jared finished his painting, he stepped back. A soft gasp rose from the audience. God had allowed him to paint a beautiful picture of Christ on the cross. In spite of his injury and in the inferior canvas, a painting that surprised even him was revealed. It was then that Jared realized the arm of the Lord was painting right along with him. Jeremiah 32, 17 says, O Lord God, you made the heavens and earth by the great power and with your outstretched arm. Nothing is too difficult for you. Today, will you allow God to instill a passion and a purpose for serving Him? As you let go of your fear and put your trust in Him, He will guide you. Pushing through our fears can release the power of God. Thank you for listening to today's story. Every day of the year, our hope is to inspire you with real-life stories of faithful men who have gone before us. 
We are excited to announce that every 365 story is now available as an ebook and is available for purchase on our website at 365christianmen.com.